we all hate being ignored. I know that I sure do. But what are you supposed to do as an independent adjuster when an IA firm ignores your resume, your application, or a request to be onboarded? Well, today we're going to give you our best tips. As insurance adjusters, we need to be covered by insurance. We're writing estimates, climbing ladders, walking on roofs, and mistakes can happen. What are you going to do when something goes wrong? Kaplik it. CPLIC, or Kaplik for short, is an insurance company for independent adjusters, formed by independent adjusters. They understand our job and the potential problems that can arise. If you want help understanding what coverages you need as an independent adjuster, head over to cplic.net slash adjuster TV for a free download that will explain the common types of insurance for adjusters. Hey IAs, it's Chris Stanley of IA Path. You know how most new adjusters cannot break into the industry? They struggle because companies have two to five years worth of experience as a requirement. And how can they get that experience? But don't worry, at iPath, we get that experience waived with our 90-day online mentorship program. If you're interested, head over to iPath.com. Once you've applied to an IA firm and been ignored, but being ignored, I mean, you haven't heard back from them in at least two weeks. Now you've got to do the number one thing that you can do in any sales situation, which is following up. Kagan Blackburn, the co-author along with me of the Networking Adjusters Playbook, successfully used email correspondences to jumpstart his career. This tip of how to respond to an IA firm comes from that book. Our suggestion in that book is a follow-up email designed to be used when you haven't gotten a response from your original email request. You're just slightly going to probe the IA firm to see if you can get a response without sending the exact same email you've already sent. This email is going to be used once again only after it's been two weeks since your last correspondence. When attempting to get on an IA firm's roster, you must be patient with individuals while staying persistent. Kagan found that consistently following up was the key to getting on more rosters, which meant getting more work. But the first step is simply to get on the IA firm's roster. So for this email, you're gonna search your inbox for the first email you sent to the IA firm roughly two weeks earlier. Hit the reply button and include the text we're gonna explain here in a few minutes. The idea is that you want the person who reads this email to see that you've already tried to reach out before this attempt. We call this email the investigative probe template and it's an email you're going to send to the recruiter of an IA firm and here's the text. Hello, I hope your day is going well. I'm following up in regards to the email I sent to you and your company a couple of weeks ago. Please review the included email thread and I look forward to hearing back from you all. Thank you and have a great day. Are you looking for an IA firm where you're not just another number? Let me tell you about our sponsor, CCMS and Associates. CCMS has been called a big mom and pop firm because they care about their adjusters. They also care about results. The CCMS family is dedicated to training and developing a talented adjusting team. If you would like to be a part of their family, email your resume and cover letter and introduce yourself directly to careers at ccmsclaims.com. Notice that this email starts with a friendly greeting, which should be used in every email you ever send. People want to feel like you care about them, so pausing to greet them is expected. You don't need to ramble on about how your life is going, but a simple greeting is something you need to do. We're also gonna write that we're following up, which implies to the letter's recipient that you're involved in a process and you need their help to move it along. Mentioning the time frame that you're contacting them in may also disarm any negative feelings that you're following up, because some IAs follow up every day or two. But remember, iFirms are busy, so give them at least two weeks to respond. 
Lastly, by including the original email thread, we are providing proof that you have already been in contact. This cookie crumb effect is powerful and over time, will show that you mean business and are thorough, which are great things to show an IA firm. Now you're gonna use this email every two weeks until you get a response, at which point you'll then move on to hopefully onboarding with the IA firm. If you need more help learning how to network with independent adjusting or auto damage appraisal firms, I recommend you grab a copy of the Networking Adjusters Playbook. You can head to Amazon or to iPath.com slash books to grab your copy. In here, we outline exactly how Kagan went from being completely new to adjusting and getting a breakthrough in property adjusting completely by networking. If you enjoyed this video, you'll love writing along with us on Adjuster TV Plus. Myself and a growing list of industry experts will show you how to handle claims with confidence. We know it's hard to find a working adjuster who's going to let you shadow them, which is why we let you ride along with us on Adjuster TV Plus. Check it out for seven days absolutely free at ipath.com slash TV. My name is Chris Stanley and we at IAPath are dedicated to giving you actionable advice on how to have an amazing adjusting career that will help you break into the insurance industry so you can obtain freedom in your career and life. If you need help learning how to get work, head over to iPath.com and click the how to find work button. We'll send you a free video course that shares insider tips on how to get started. And until next week, keep walking your path and claiming your life.